Hey everyone and welcome to the TapSnap uh, Step and Repeat Green Screen Tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a step and repeat in GIMP. So first thing I want to do is right now I have just a blank canvas here with dimensions 3088 by 2056 pixels so the same as a green screen. When you create a step and repeat you're going to want to have the same dimensions as a green screen. And so the first thing we're going to have to do is we're, we're going to have to create a grid. Um, I always like to create a grid because it's just a lot easier to follow where exactly to put the logos and to make sure they're all perfect. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, image and then we're going to go to configure grid. This is where you configure your grid and you can really put in uh, whichever dimensions you want. Um, for now, I believe I'm just going to start with 440 by 440. Um, this is a lock symbol, so right now when I change the width, I change the height, I'm going to keep that locked. Um, that's for spacing. For the offset, I'm going to unlock this and I'm going to leave this at zero. I'm going to leave this at 150 pixels. Right, and we'll see how that goes. We'll press OK. And if nothing happens, that's OK. No need to worry. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to View and then Show Grid. Right, so this is the grid that I've created um, for the step and repeat. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding our logos. So I have opened up a couple of logos that I'm going to use. We'll start with this one for now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this rectangle select tool. I'm just going to drag over top of the image and then I'm going to go edit, copy. All right, so now it's copying this image. All right, and so I'm going to go back to my step and repeat and I'm going to create a new layer. So I'm going to create a new layer um, for each uh, type of logo. Press this button here, create new layer, press OK. So now this is the new layer. All right, so now what I'm going to do is going to go edit and paste. All right, so this is our logo. Right now it's a little too big. I want to make it a tiny bit smaller. So I'm going to use the scale tool. So I'm going to go to this tool right here. This is the scale tool. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to click on the lock section. So I want to make sure that if I change the width, the height also changes as well. So I'm going to make sure that's locked and I'm just going to click and drag. Make it a tiny bit smaller. Right. And after that, I'm going to press scale. Right, so now it's a little bit smaller and this is exactly how I want it. So I'm going to go back to the move tool. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to drag it to where the two lines meet. And so right now it hasn't been pasted yet. Um, I'm going to go edit and copy. So right now I'm copying this image right here. So I'm copying um, this logo um, with the dimensions, so with these small dimensions. All right. And so next, I'm going to go edit and paste. All right. So you won't be able to see it right now, but once you click on here, it pasted another logo. So I'm going to move it over to two spaces because I have two logos that I'm going to work with. So I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to go back, edit, paste again, click on here, drag it over here, All right, just like that, edit, paste, I'm going to put one down here. And I like it so that they are a little bit offset. It just makes the uh, step and repeat look better and look uh, cleaner. All right, so I'm going to keep doing this pasting. So I'm going to keep pasting these logos. And right now they're being added to this layer here.
All right, so right now we have a step and repeat with only one logo, and you can leave it like this if you want. I'm going to um, add a, another logo. I like to see the step and repeats when they have two logos. It looks really good. Um, so I'm going to, right now, I'm going to open up my second logo. I believe it's right here. I'm going to take the rectangle select tool. And I'm going to select the logo. All right. Edit, copy. So we're going to copy this logo. And then we go back to our step and repeat. And I'm going to create another layer. So this layer is going to be for the second logo. Press OK. All right, so you can see the first layer with these logos. If I um, click this icon, you can see it disappears. So you can just see that this layer um, contains all these logos. So now I have another layer where I'm going to put the second logo. So edit paste, all right, and this is the second logo. I actually like the size of this logo, so I'm not gonna scale it down. So I'm gonna click the move tool. I'm gonna move it right between the two lines. And right now I'm gonna click copy. So we copy this logo with this size. All right, and then I'm gonna click paste. Drag that over. All right, so here you have your step and repeat with uh, two logos. Um, you can see that this is the first layer and it has this um, world logo. And then this is the second layer and it contains this tropic logo. All right, so once we're done that, we don't wanna do anything else to it. I believe the placement of it looks great. So we're gonna go to file, export. We're gonna save it as step. And we want to save it as a JPEG, right? So this already is um, going to be saved as a JPEG image. So you type in the name that you want and you click export. And then click export again. All right, and it saved it. So I'm just going to go back and check and see how it looks. All right, and there is your step and repeat. Um, so the dimensions are as a green screen, so you can plug it in um, into your My Green Screen folder and use it for your event. And that's it for a step and repeat. Um, make sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create all the other Tap Staff graphics. Thanks.